Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. Racing, music, camping, it all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year.
Fans, welcome here to Daytona for tonight's regular season finale. It's the June Bug 175. My name is Robert Hill Jr. Joining me tonight, as always, is Chris Wright. Chris, how you doing tonight, my friend? I'm doing great. Ready to see a great regular season finale, see some guys make the playoffs, and maybe we'll see somebody outside the playoffs win the night and lock themselves in. That's definitely the goal here tonight. A quick look at the race format. 70 laps, halfway point will go at the end of lap 35, coming to 36, and they have three sets of Goodyear tires here tonight. A quick gander at the points as well as we head into this one. It'll show you the current playoff picture. Um, what we're looking for is the top 14 to advance to the playoffs. So Tyler Fode, Ethan Stanley, Ethan Burrell, Chase Cabery, Scott Crump, David Tooker, and I believe Matthew Weeks, the last of those drivers locked in to the next round. Nick Massey, Tyler Popchat, Frankenfield, Seth Rawls, Gerald Campbell, Josh Robin, and Tate Lytle currently in a playoff position with the likes of Jesse Racimus, Michael Hasek, Leighton Norgard, Jay Connor, and others just on the outside looking in. And a quick peek at the rookie points. I believe it's Ty McIntosh. No, it's not Ty. It is Chase Cabry. Well ahead of Tommy Ryan, Jeff Ryan in third, Andrew McCall, Gavin Higgins, Gavin Hibbs, Corey Heim, EJ O'Rourke, Carlos Acosta, and Josh Freed, the top 10 in those points. And uh, I'm just going to quickly pull up the tower here, Chris, uh, just to show the current qualifying standings. It has Tommy and Jeff Ryan at the top. So, the way that the tower is going to work tonight, those in green as Fody goes to the top. Uh, those in green are currently locked into the playoffs. Those in yellow, such as Josh Robin, are in a playoff spot. And those in red are currently drivers that are still alive with a shot at working their way into the playoffs, but are on the outside looking in. Everybody else is essentially eliminated from the race. And Chris, you might be wondering why tonight's race is called the June Bug 175. And this one is a tribute to Michael Goodman's dog that unfortunately passed away this past weekend at just four years of age. There's June Bug and Michael Goodman on the screen. Now our condolences to the Goodman family and uh, best wishes to him tonight behind the wheel of that number 44 machine. Hopefully he can put on a good show for June Bug and all of his fans at home. Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know what? It's not, you know, we're not supposed to root for these guys. I know we make race picks and stuff, but I think uh, I think we both agree we're going to be pulling for Goody tonight. And one thing to touch on here, you mentioned a car that's in a playoff spot that is, well, Tate Lytle, and he is not here. So that's going to open up a playoff spot for the taking already. So these boys already have a bone to fight over. That's correct. Yeah, Tate Lytle, unfortunately, not here tonight. As let's take a look at the starting grid of tonight's 40-car field. It's going to be Tyler Fody leading us out from the pole with Tommy Ryan to his outside. Jeff Ryan and Josh Robin will make up row number two. Tyler Pop, Dave Carpenter in row number three. Scott Crump, Dustin Doer make up the fourth row here tonight with a Leighton Norgard and Ethan Burrell rounding out the top ten. Chris, take us to the position number 20 here tonight. Yeah, we got Chase Cabre rolling off here in P11. Jess Story, Jesse Racimus, Gerald Campbell, David Tooker round out the top 15. Followed by Nick Massey, Andrew Hardcastle, Josh Adams, Kyle Henshaw, and Chad Frankenfield round out the top 20. 21st tonight, Jake Connor alongside Andrew McCall in the 11th row. Jeff Green and Connor Thompson make up row number 12. Row 13 tonight, Ethan Stanley and Michael Goody Goodman with Mark Ropilus and Michael Hasek making up row number 14. Ty McIntosh and Gavin Higgins round out the top 30. Chris, take us through to position number 40. And like you said, Gavin Higgins there in 30th. 31st for Vincent Isabella. 32nd, Johnny Thomas. Then we got Cole Cabre. Matthew Weeks way back here in 34th. Seth Rawls. Jesse, or Jesse Racimus. Jane Racimus in 36th. Brent Jones. Hunter Smith. Tanya Jones. And Rory Collins round out the 40 car field. 
that is your 40 car field tonight again 70 laps in store for these drivers as we work our way out onto the racetrack of course a great big field of cars going to work their way out there as you see cole cabry going on by seth rawls there's con and jones as well as the whole field has worked their way onto the racetrack it's tyler Fody going to be the control car here tonight chris why don't we go ahead i'll let you kick this one off who is your your pick to get it done here tonight at Daytona well I think I'm gonna take all of Lake Norman tonight at Daytona you can only pick one car Chris you, you can't have a whole team you're not Ross right, Chastain well, here in the Xfinity race come on now I, I got to I got to stick with Nick I've picked Nick every race this year oh, I told man. him I was gonna pick him till he won once he wins I'm kicking him to the curb and moving on so will tonight be the last night that I picked Nick Massey that's in his hands we're gonna play it a little ballsy here and I am going to go with somebody that is going to get their first victory here tonight. Somebody that has had strong success over the years at these plate tracks. Somebody that uh, has a lot of work to do coming from the tail of the field. But I'm going with the 85 of Kynan Jones to get it done here tonight. We'll see if he can work his way to his maiden victory here in the Elite Racing League as the field works the way around to the pit road entry. Expect Fred, the pace car driver, to hit pit road this time and unleash the field to Barney the flag man as we're going to get set to get underway here in the June Bug 175 the regular season finale it's the Robilus Photography Grand National Series and it is green. Let's go racing here at Daytona. Tyler Fody and Jeff Ryan immediately side by side for that race lead. It's Ryan up top with help from Josh Robin. Fody on the inside with help from Jeff Ryan in that number 35 Mountain Dew machine. Tyler Pop and Scott Crump just behind them. Dave Carpenter and Dustin Dewar, both with very solid qualifying runs here tonight. Chris currently find themselves inside that top 10. And another driver already starting to work their way forward is Jeff story started in the 12th spot currently still there on the outside of row number six making his return to the series here tonight and doing a good job so far a couple drivers falling to the rear michael hasek and connor thompson both gonna take a dive to the back of the field but up front tyler Fody continuing to lead and looking three wide is josh robin there but the door shut on him there it's gonna check up that whole outside line for just a little bit Josh Robin not wanting to follow that 66. And now here we go. We're going to have that Mountain Dew machine looking to the outside of Tyler Foda here down the back stretch. I really did expect this to happen as soon as the opportunity presented itself here, Chris. Obviously, Tommy and Jeff Ryan, the Ryan brothers, uh, hooking up there on the high lane as soon as they had the opportunity to do so. It's the 35 of Jeff Ryan, the 66 of Tommy Ryan just behind him. Fody and Pop on the inside, nearly contact right there between Scott Crump and Josh Robin in that third row. That's the battle for position number five. I'm seeing a Leighton Norgard starting to work his way forward. That's a driver that is currently still alive, but on the outside looking in, he's got to get up there, got to work his way into the points and also has to pick up the victory here tonight. So a lot of work ahead for some of these drivers. We'll see what they're able to do. Uh, a couple of drivers moving their way forward. Currently, Vincent Isabella up 15 spots so far. You can find him right there alongside David Tooker. Three wide on the high side. Nick Massey down there on the bottom. Of course, Massey and Isabella, teammates on the cup side for Mountain Man Motorsports. And Isabella looking to charge his way forward. He's got Cole Cabry just behind him. Cabry up 15 spots as well. So these drivers moving their way forward. Drivers such as Gerald Campbell, Jay Connor, and Connor Thompson have fallen to the rear. And speaking of Gerald before the race, Chris, he mentioned that he was going to take it easy here tonight. He only needs to keep himself in a safe spot, doesn't even care about getting up there to battle for the win, just wants to make it to the end of this one. So watch for the double zero to really be irrelevant all night long, but that's exactly what he needs to do. As Scott Crump gets shuffled down to the apron, he's going to gather it back up and get up in front of a late Norgard. Yeah, we had a little bit of a bad push there from the 13 to the 40, and it almost caused a, a big accident. 
And that really brought that third lane up there as Josh Robin is leading that third lane. Three wide for second. David Carpenter trying to come up the middle. Dustin Dewar on the top pushing Josh Robin. These boys know that it's an 80 lap race or 70 lap race, right? They know that the checkered flag's not about to fall. I, I think they do. I think they do, but it's still three wide as that's pop on the bottom. Jeff Ryan in the middle up top is Josh Robin. Robin, a driver known to be a super speedway racer, Chris. He's not uh, not always going to be up front at your intermediates or your short tracks, but anytime you come to a play track, expect to see that number eight car up towards the front at the start in the middle and right there at the end josh robin a very consistent smart and clean plate racers here comes tyler pop up ahead of jeff ryan it's getting a little bit squirrely there in that middle lane we'll see if they're all able to hold on and keep their cars charging forward now without too much of an issue six laps down just over 65 to go just under 65 to go now I should say, as Fody, Pop, Crump, Ryan, and Ryan, your top five here on lap number six. Yeah, and when he moved up there, that let those Lake Norman cars of Crump and Fody get together. I don't know if I'd have done that. Maybe it's a little early. You're not thinking about that. You're just trying to go get the lead. But if you let cars start getting hooked up together, these Lake Norman cars find each other. They'll be hard to beat. Now, one driver I've noticed that doesn't really have a ton of teammates around him whatsoever is Ethan Burrell, the 37 machine there, right in the middle behind Tommy Ryan, ahead of Chase Cabry. Uh, but one thing that he does have is a couple of his do-good motorsports teammates from the cup side of things around him. I see Dustin Doerr, I see Dave Carpenter, and I see Jeffrey Green right there as well. The 2000 Bush Series champion Jeff Green currently residing just outside the top 10. So although he doesn't directly have teammates, he still has affiliates. He still has friends out here with him. That is Ethan Burrell currently residing in position number six is Josh Robin going to get freight train and shuffled all the way back. Currently residing in position number 16 is Jeff Green checks up a little bit. Nearly contact there with Andrew McCall. It's going to open the door for Vincent Isabella and Johnny Thomas to come through. Of course, Johnny Thomas winner Wednesday night in the Belly Up Sports Cup Series race uh, that took place at Rockingham. His first victory in quite some time in the Elite Cup Series. So congratulations to him. Looking to get it done here on the Super Speedways route as well. And Johnny Thomas, of course, Chris, a Daytona 500 champion in the Elite Racing League. So not a stranger to success here on these play tracks. Yeah, and I, I remember that Daytona 500. I was uh, I came across the line second there to Johnny, and, and Tate was right there as well. And, you, you know, we weren't teammates at the time. And... Just like with Ethan Burrell right here, not having teammates up here. But there are guys you like to run with and like to work with. And guys well, Chris, Ethan and Johnny I got to cut you guys. off here for just a second. Uh, this is a notice to race control that the 92 of Ethan Stanley has just disappeared completely on the screen. So definitely got to keep an eye open for him and see if he works his way back into this race. Um, looks like he is gone. I'm not seeing him anywhere out here. Yeah, currently not showing on timing and scoring. So unfortunate there for Ethan Stanley, one of those drivers uh, that needed to have a good night here tonight. And uh, this is not going to be a good start to that, but we're still side by side for the lead. Actually, you know what? Stanley didn't need a good night, Chris. He was locked into this one. So locked into the playoffs already for ethan stanley he was just out here to try to gain a couple points maybe start a little bit uh with momentum for round number one yeah as we are getting racy up here at the front again we've got cars pulling out three wide there's vince we got the 98 machine pulling out there cole these guys trying to make something happen on this third lane once again and what happens to bring this third lane into it is when cars start getting a little bit too warm to keep pushing and they have to start leaving a gap. That's what lets the third lane get the momentum and guys be able to pass from the back of the field. Now, once they do some swapping up here, if they do some swapping where a different car gets out front in one of these bottom lines, that third lane will die off again. 75's in the wall. 75 of Ty McIntosh getting the outside wall. 
Definitely does check up the outside lane. Andrew McCall gets a little bit loose. That only really checks up Josh Robin, though, pushes Robin back now to position number 19. So his descent through the field does continue with Cole Cabry and Vincent Isabella. These drivers have worked together basically from the drop of the green flag. Chris started at the tail end of the field together. Reckon, Both. Reckon, reckon. Oh, no, big one. And there goes the late Norgard. Norgard going around. Josh Adams does a nice job avoiding it. Norgard gets hit. Johnny Thomas, Jesse Racimus, both going to get a piece of that one. We'll take a look and see what just happened. But it looks like it all triggers around a late Norgard to bring out that yellow flag. Watching for Norgard. He is the fifth car on the inside lane there. Ooh, he's going to get some help from whoever that was in the middle. Was that Dave Carpenter? Yeah, but sitting here looking at it, the race control, they had about two and a half feet between them. Watching some... Norcard again. No, that was that Dustin Doerr in the middle. Yeah, that was Doerr in the middle. Major net code there. Oh, Ty McIntosh with a huge piece of that one. Somebody else gets gathered up is that brenton jones that gets a piece of that yes it is brenton jones with some unfortunate major damage as well but how does johnny thomas and jesse racimus get involved in this one we gotta back this up and see what just happened to them i think johnny dives down to try to avoid it yeah johnny thomas comes across the nose of jesse racimus and ends up taking him down to the inside wall Potentially a tally could be issued to Johnny Thomas, but it's all triggered from a little bit of net code further up between a late Norgard and Dustin Door. Multiple others are involved. We'll keep our eyes open, see who opts to come down pit road. But so far, it looks like the three leaders are going to stay out in Fody, Pop, and Crumpet, Jeff Ryan, Tommy Ryan, Dave Carpenter, Ethan Burrell, David Tooker going to come down pit road as well as Jeff Green, Andrew McCall, Vincent Isabella, Dustin Dewar, Ty McIntosh, and pretty much everybody else here with the exception, of course, of Fody, Pop, Crump, Smith, Josh Adams, Jess Story, and Jay Connor. The only drivers to stay out on the racetrack. Winning the race off of pit road is Tommy Ryan ahead of Jeff Ryan, Ethan Burrell, David Tooker, and David Carpenter with Green, McCall, and Chase Cabry rounding out the top 15. As we're under caution, number one here, lap number 13. Let's step away. We'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll take you through the early portions or early to mid portions of tonight's race is the june bug 175 on the elite racing network don't go anywhere racing isn't easy but experiencing it is iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. Racing, music, camping, it all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year.
We are back. Here's the June Buck 175 at the Daytona International Speedway. Cleaning up caution number one here on lap 14. Tyler Foti, Tyler Pop are your control cars this time with Scott Crum, Hunter Smith, Josh Adams, Jay Connor, Jess Story, Tommy Ryan, Jeff Ryan, and Ethan Burrell rounding out the top 10 as we get set to go green once again here, Chris Wright. Uh, what's the report from race control after that latest incident? Uh, race control is going to give a props to everybody for slowing up as well as they could. You know, a couple guys who didn't just hurt themselves. And as far as the wreck goes, just a big net code there, about two feet between the two cars when they make contact and then we're not going at each other. So it's just a racing deal out there. As we are back underway, it's Tyler Fody and Tyler Pop that lead us back to it. It's Pop up top, Fody on the inside with his teammates, Scott Crump and Josh Adams behind him. So a little bit of team assistance on the inside for Tyler Fody. Well, I don't think Josh Adams is a teammate. Josh is essentially a teammate, though. I mean, they, they might not physically be on the same team, but Josh Adams would do anything to get Tyler Fody out front. Tyler has a army of drivers out there to support him. As you can see, Josh Adams behind him right now and giving him a push and trying to help Lake Norman control this race. Man. I hope Josh goes back and listens to that because he might send you a message like, let me tell you what I really think about Tyler Fody. Josh Adams, big Tyler Fody fan and Tyler Fody, big fan of leading this race as he's on the inside. Scott Crump, his teammate up top as they try to control both lanes early on. You're seeing a bit of a line starting to form here or a bit of a run anyways with Jess Story and Tommy Ryan up on the high side, the 29 and the 66. They don't have a ton of assistance behind, so not necessarily in position, Chris, to be able to force a three wide maneuver maneuver but uh, there's been some good battles so far i want to highlight a couple drivers that uh, are running fairly well so far michael hasek just behind dave carpenter here you see them in the center of your screen now they currently run in 14th and 16th respectively so good runs for the start of this one for them mark robilus in 23rd check out robilusphoto.com for all your photography needs and ethan stanley i'm only showing him chris because we want to talk about the sponsor that's on his car blue egg marketing blue egg is the marketing department for small businesses small business owners blue egg is your biggest fan and blue egg is a fan of ethan stanley when his internet connection wants to work properly so hopefully he's got that all sorted out and speaking of sorting it out we got some sorting to do up front here is Jess Story working his way up on the high side leading the outside lane as we're three wide up towards the front of the field and uh, just a quick note as well Jesse Racimus nearly wrecked on a pit road but was able to gather it up and continue on yeah, it got pretty dicey there for a second. I thought they were looking at four wide, but the guys took care of each other over there and uh, didn't just drive through the back of each other. So kudos to them. And all of a sudden, Fody's got no help there on the bottom. His help has bailed. He's got Jay Connor with him now on the inside. Maybe the plan to get Scott Crump out front, but you would think if that was the case, Crump would have dropped down by now. But no, it's going to be Tyler Pop that drops to the inside. And the other friend up top is Josh Adams leading the outside lane. So Lake Norman and company trying to control the race here right from the start. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it to the Ooh, best Hunter of their Smith abilities. As Hunter Smith, you just mentioned it here with the Warriors for Peace machine. Proud partner of our IndyCar series currently running there in position number five. Well, he got together with that 35. I think that's one of the Ryan boys, and I thought they were going to wreck a bunch of cars again. Things are getting very tight up here amongst these drivers. Josh Adams continuing to try to charge his way forward as he has Jess Story and Ethan Burrell behind him. We'll see what they're able to do on the inside. There's Jeff Ryan just behind Jay Connor. It's Tommy Ryan in the middle. Is Jay Connor starting to blink from the third position on the inside? That's definitely an unsettling feeling. Yeah, I don't want to do too much blinking. For race control does not want to have to step in. And so it's going to, have to be a little bit worse than that. But 
we'll see how it plays out going forward here. One thing I was watching was Weeks. I thought Weeks might get clear and try to pull up in front of Josh Adams, but then that outside line really got a big run. Jake Connor falling to the rear, maybe feeling that his connection is not up to snuff here. So kudos to him for getting out of the way, trying to avoid potential issues. As, ooh, that was a little bit dicey right there between Andrew McCall and Vincent Isabella. Chris, by the way, we're about 15 laps remaining in the first half of this one. Of course, some bonus points up for grabs at the end of lap number 35, coming to lap 36. Yeah, and right now we are three by three at the front. Absolutely incredible up here right now. Lots of pushing, lots of shoving. Fody's out there. Tyler Pops not quite want to get clear. Josh Adams doesn't have the help he needs on his bumper just yet. Definitely some very tight battles tonight. here. He's not looking at any points. He's not looking at anything like this. With his work schedule, he doesn't get to make many of these events. So, uh... He is out here just trying to bring back a trophy. And, and realistically, Chris, it wouldn't surprise me if we were to see the likes of Josh Adams up there battling it out for the win. And just a reminder to the folks at home, there is the six lap down rule in effect for Ethan Stanley. It is eight laps down due to falling out for two laps. But I got to think that Elaine Norgard's getting a little close to that six lap down now here, Chris. He may have even surpassed it by now. Yeah, him and Ty McIntosh are both nine laps down, but neither car's on the racetrack, so. Lap car on the apron, Jesse Racimus going to go an additional lap down. Luckily, the field able to squeak on by as Scott Crump has found his partner in Tyler Fody. They're going to lead the inside lane. Up in the middle is Josh Adams and Hunter Smith with Jess Story and Ethan Burrell continuing to be the control cars up top. As uh, Just taking a look at Scott Crump. He's got one heck of a view behind him. There you see Tyler Fody and Josh Adams in the shot. Jess Story in the shot as well as they're working their way around the racetrack. This is quite the battle as we have a couple drivers down on the apron. I believe that is Tommy Ryan that's going to fall back. Jeff Ryan as well. So the brothers may be having a little bit of sibling telepathy knowing that it's about to get a little bit dicey. As you see Michael Goodman there currently scored in the 26th position. Staying alive out there. That's right. Staying alive. Staying alive. Do not want to wreck early, especially if you're out here racing for, for points. You know, we're getting to the time where you might want to, if you're wanting to race for points, make try to make something happen. But... If you're really close to safe, like I'm looking at like a Nick Massey or some people like him, you know, you just need to survive and, and get to the end of this thing and let some guys wreck out. You're going to be fine. And, and that's exactly it. As we see, I believe that's Brent Jones going to go a lap down to the leaders once again down there on the inside. Of course, he was caught up in the early incident, Chris. Brent Jones. Big block by Scott Crump. Comes by down pit road here. I believe Brent Jones I, actually came across the grass, so a bit of an issue for him as Scott Crump trying to block both lanes. Yeah, I don't think Josh Adams is going to be a big fan of that, especially with how hard he hit him. Josh did not take anything off of that bump track. Jeff Green asking for a little bit of space from Andrew McCall in the 84. So these drivers running really tight. I've seen the likes of Matthew Weeks and Jess oh, Story get side by side. Tyler popped down to the apron. He's going to pop back up onto the racetrack. As you see Story and Hunter Smith nearly making contact. Tyler Fody with his best friend Josh Adams get back down to the bottom lane. Good to see the teamwork between the 1 and the 40 here tonight as Josh Adams going to go up, play the Lake Norman strategy, as I think the strategy by Lake Norman is just to step on her own uh, you-know-what's here tonight and wreck the entire field, because that's what that looked like right there, as they were just about to end everyone's evening right from the front of the field. Yeah, that that was uh, absolutely insane right there. Wow. 
I think what happened wow. there was there was a bad push from the 13, caused him to stack up. I believe he was pushing on Fody at the last time down the front stretch, but I'm not sure. And then it caused that whole stack up to happen. And I'm gonna tell you what that 39 machine. He uh, he got lucky with the save. Sounds like somebody had to go down pit road. I believe it was Chase Cabry to avoid a potential issue there. So he's going to get his black flag cleared and be able to continue on. So uh, a little bit of a wild moment there at the front of the field as Lake Norman continues to control this one with Josh Adams, Tyler Fody, and Scott Crump on the inside lane. It's Hunter Smith and Matthew Weeks up there on the high side, currently uh, trying to work their way past the Lake Norman combo down there on the inside. Tyler Pop, Jeff Green up there in the top 10 as well. Ethan Burrell, David Tooker. So multiple drivers up there in the top 10 weren't necessarily up there earlier on. Let's do something a little bit fun here. Let's go ahead. You won't hear Chris and I for a little bit. Let's go ahead and crank it up. And welcome back here to Daytona. Well, you never left. You know, there's a little bit of uh, live action here as we've got three by three right here at the front of the field. You're seeing it. Josh Adams, Hunter Smith, Jeff Green. Great pushing out the back. Tight three wide. We're six laps here from the halfway stage point. Some of these guys are wanting the points. Some of these guys don't care about points. They're just trying to stay at the front. We'll see what happens right now. Those bottom two lanes getting clear of that third lane. Jeff's dropping off just a little bit. Doesn't have quite the help he needs with just Ethan Burrell up. Fody can't push anymore. He's backing off. That's letting the middle surge ahead. Hunter Smith is going to be cleared all by himself down into turn three. Takes the lead. It's going to leave him side by side here for second. Josh Adams is going to get clear. Does he move up in front of Matthew Weeks? He does not. Or at least not yet. Here we go. Adams moves up in front of Weeks. Big help coming from Weeks to Adams. Now those two, uh, all kidding aside, they are teammates, Adams and Weeks. Josh is a part of Pro Edge. Oh, Johnny Thomas is in the wall. We are wrecking in the back. Ethan Stanley, Nick Massey, everybody with the save. We stay green. Nobody really spins out. Could have been crazy right there. Side by side for the lead once again. It's went down to double wide. Josh Adams on the outside of Hunter Smith with help from Matthew Weeks. Hunter Smith has help from Tyler Fody. Pushing hard here for the first seven or eight rows. Weeks all over the back of Adams. Coming here to three to go in the stage. 
Chris, looks Let's... like some really tight battling here at the front of the field between Hunter Smith and Josh Adams. Yeah, and there was a wreck there in the midfield without a caution while you were going. A bunch of cars got some good damage, but oh, geez. nobody really spun out. Looks like Kyle Hanshaw might have been involved in that one. Maybe Conan Jones as well. Yeah, I think Ethan Stanley got a pretty big piece of it oh. as well. Unfortunately for Ethan Stanley, there are three to go in the stage. Of course, this does come at the end of lap 35. Come to lap 36 as we take a look from the drone camera just behind the Cole Cabri machine. You see Matthew Weeks taking the high side, Josh Adams down on the bottom. It, it's great to see somebody like Hunter Smith, Chris, uh, up there towards the front of the field. This is a driver that hasn't necessarily been at the front a lot in these oval races on the stock car side anyways. More of an open wheel driver. This guy right here is somebody you expect to see at the front pretty much in each and every race in Matthew Weeks. Of course, uh, of course Cole Cabry, uh, another very strong driver up there as well. Dustin Dewar. Dustin is one of those drivers, Chris, and I hope he doesn't take offense to this. He's one of those guys that we typically see up towards the front in these speedway races, but we also see getting involved in a lot of wrecks on these super speedways. Some of his doing a lot, not of his doing as well, but it, it just seems like his luck is not necessarily there when it comes to these super speedways. Yeah, and right now we've had Lake Norman in control of this race for the most part, but all of a sudden Pro Edge it's one and two right now. Josh Adams got about a half a car length out over to the 98. Him and Weeks have found each other. Ooh. They have been working together for the last handful of laps. Hand shot of pit road. His right front looks absolutely awful right now. Is Jeff Green doing a nice job up top? Nice to see the 2000 Bush Series champion Hefe Verde leading that top lane trying to win the stage too coming right here to the end of the stage yeah that's right this is going to be a tight one we'll take a look in a second we'll try to get a peek from the finish line camera here in just a moment and see who's going to get it. of course the finish line uh on the other side of the trioval here at the talent oh this is daytona never mind it don't matter <laughs> as matthew weeks is going to pick up the stage just ahead of jeff green and Jay and cool cabri in the 98 i don't even know why i thought it was talladega it is definitely not talladega here this is daytona and speaking of daytona we're going to be back here wednesday night in the belly of sports cup series chris yeah looking forward to it i can't wait to get here to run the race get caught up in a few wrecks and survive to the end right <laughs> this is the one and only time i can actually come back to an elite race as the defending champion of it and oh there we go Oh, we are wrecking a bunch yeah. of cars here. Chris, some watching at home are going to say that I jinxed the hell out of this one, and you're going to see it in just a second. Oh, man. Watching the 32 of Dustin Dewar in the middle. We're going to slow this one right down, and uh, this is going to be a big one. We'll have to take multiple views of this. I'm going to back it up already. I'm going to back this up already here just to see what happened. Looks like the 32 just loses it there, Chris. Comes down, clips the 11 up the track, gets Ethan Burrell, gets David Tooker, gets Cole Cavery. Oh, Vincent Isabella going to go for a ride. You know for sure we're going to be going on board with him. Chad Frankenfield looks like he's going to get a piece of that one as well. He gets collected by Dave Carpenter. Andrew McCall going to be in it. Tyler Fody going to be in it as well. Don't know how heavy his damage is going to be. We'll keep an eye on pit road here in just a second, Chris. But as I said, I do want to go on board with Vincent Isabella in the three car here in just a second. See if we can get that in car view with him. Let's go ahead. Let's slow it down. You can see the wreck developing right there. Just nowhere to go for him. He's going to go up and ride the wall. Get inside of Andrew McCall's car briefly there land back on four wheels and continue on. We're going to take a look at Tyler Fody as well. See how severe the potential damage was for him. We're going to go on board with the number 40 car. 
You can see the wreck develop up ahead of him. There's Hunter Smith just in front of him here. I believe Smith going to be able to get on by without getting collected. No, he's absolutely collected big time. Fody's going to insert himself into a Cabry family reunion right here. Chase was on the bottom. Cole right there. I think Tyler might have a little bit of damage here to deal with Chris Wright as the only cars on the racetrack right now, Gavin Higgins, Jeff Green, and Scott Crump. But Crump going to work his way to pit lane as well. Everyone else has been on pit road, um, either this lap or prior to this. But caution out once again, lap number 38, caution number two. After an incident involving Dustin Door. unfortunately for him, he's two for two on the night and getting involved in those incidents. The first one uh, dealt a racing deal. This one going to fall on the hands of the number 32 of Door. We're going to step away. We'll be right back. This is the June Bug 175 at the Daytona International Speedway. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. Racing, music, camping, it all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. And we are green once again as Jeff Green, Scott Crump, Tyler Pop, Josh Robin, and Jake Connor, the top five. Quite a few drivers getting collected in that one, Christopher, including the likes of Ethan Stanley, Andrew McCall, Josh Adams, Kyle Hanshaw, David Tooker, Brenton Jones, Matthew Weeks, Dustin Dewar, Ethan Burrell, Vincent Isabella, Jesse Racimus, Leighton Norgard, and Ty McIntosh all having damage here so far. A couple others still on the racetrack that have damage, including the likes of Hunter Smith, Tyler Fody, Cole Cabry, Chase Cabry, and Chad Frankenfield. So a lot of cars with damage. Again, a reminder of the colors on the scoring tower. Those in green are locked in. Those in yellow were in coming into this race. And 
were not locked in as of yet. Those in red on the outside looking in, but still alive in the playoff race. Everyone else, those in black, are no longer eligible to advance into the Robilus Photography Grand National Series playoffs. Chris Wright as Tyler Pop, Jeff Green, and Scott Crump continuing to lead the way. Looks like a couple other drivers are going to be done for the day as we ride on board here with Scott Crump up top. You can see Tyler Pop, the race leader down there on the inside. Pop, one of those drivers that was currently in a playoff position entering tonight, but was not locked in. So if he's somehow able to hold on to this position and finish on the top step of the podium here tonight, this would be a great opportunity for him to get himself into the playoffs. And no doubt Chris Wright is absolutely busy right now as the race controller as tally was issued to the 32 of Dustin Dewar. A severe damage penalty for uh, additional contact under the caution period was issued to the 15 of Chad Frankenfield. Of course, as normal, that is under appeal by the driver of the number 15. So we'll see how that one plays out when it goes in front of the administrative board later tonight. But we're seeing John Johnny Thomas, not Jomini Thomas, going up to the high side there with help from Chase Cabry trying to work his way up towards the front. Jeff Green on the inside trying to help Tyler Pop work his way back to the front of the field. They're going to be three yeah, wide in here back for here. third. Chris, welcome back. Do you need a break, a massage, a bottle of water? What do you need here, buddy? Uh, we just had a lot going on. Had that was to busy. Give some tallies, clear some flags, give some other tallies. So I believe I passed the report on accurately where tally was issued to the 32. Severe damage was issued to the 15. Were there any other penalties under that period? No, nah, just a bunch of people asking for clears. You know how it is when wrecked cars are running around Daytona at the speed of barely the pace car runs and people are having to pass them and just a lot going on. Definitely a lot going on here as we watch Johnny Thomas trying to cook and book up top with Chase Cabry. Cabry, of course, picked up a little bit of damage in that last incident. Johnny Thomas has some damage from an earlier incident, but the fact that most of the field has damage at this point, Chris Wright, really makes this kind of an equalizer among the drivers that have not blown their engine here today but some drivers that are at risk of drama here tonight Hanshaw, Dewar, Racemus and Norgard all of those drivers were on the outside looking in here tonight now find themselves even further on the outside some in danger as well Seth Rawls, Chad Frankenfield both of those drivers were in playoff positions entering tonight and now find themselves quite deep in the field so we'll have to keep an eye on that as Josh Robin, Nick Massey, Tyler Pop are up there second, third, and fourth. Those drivers needing a good night here tonight. And so far, so good for them as Josh Robin going to take the race Fody, lead. Okay. Was he not in that wreck? Fody was indeed in that wreck. They were able to fix his car up rather easily and uh, doesn't even look like a scratch well never mind he his car was okay and then he decided to wreck the field as i believe nick massey just had a major hit right there chris Wright, that was a big one but we're gonna stay green yeah that was only two cars Yeah, that was a couple of cars, but you know what? Let's take a look here and see what happened. It involved Jeff Green, Nick Massey, Andrew Hardcastle. So three cars involved. Looked like a bad push by the 40 of Tyler. Oh, never mind. It was all in front with Josh Robin getting out of shape. And then Nick Massey and Jeff Green come together. Andrew Hardcastle going to go through the grass as well. Johnny Thomas up in the outside wall. So that was actually a four or five car incident. Just nobody actually stopped anywhere close to the racing surface, which of course does keep us under green flag conditions. Going to be some heat from the drivers, I think, on that one. Uh, but we have been advised to keep races green as long as we possibly can and unfortunately for those drivers it's just not going to fall their way and i hate to say it uh, 
as race control just handing out a bunch of uh, penalties ending some nights here tonight the six lap down rule of course severely in effect chris wright can hand us that list here very shortly upon his return on which drivers have now been ruled ineligible to rejoin the playing field here tonight well, that, that would be kyle hanshaw josh adams david tooker matthew weeks dustin dewar ethan burrell and vincent isabella along with racimus mcintosh and Norder. And I do have to point out that is Jesse Racimus that Chris Wright is mentioning there because, of course, Jaden Racimus currently scored there in position number 10. So he's having himself a good night here tonight, Chris. He hasn't, I don't think he's been involved in any of the incidents either. So put himself in a good position here is Jaden Racimus. Yeah, and right now... Josh Robbins, Scott Crump, side-by-side side for the lead. We saw Lake Norman control a lot of the early part of this race. And right at the stage, it looked like Pro Edge was going to take it from them. Then we had that wreck, and uh, a lot of those cars I just parked are part of the Pro Edge banner. So it's back in control of Lake Norman. Again. To be fair, Chris, I think you parked all of Pro Edge racing in that incident. I, I don't see any of them still in this field whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all gone. Even, even their affiliates are out of this in Joshua Adams here tonight. I do believe, unless he's under the Pro Edge banner, which yes, he is. So all of Pro Edge racing out of this one here tonight. As Scott Crump slides up ahead of Josh Robin, I still don't know how Tyler Fody was able to repair his car as quickly as he did. Look who's in the top five. Mark Robilis of RobilisPhoto.com, the home for all of your photography needs. Mark J. Robilis, RobilisPhoto.com. Once again, he's worked his way up onto the podium right now, Chris. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool to see him get up here and get on the podium, maybe win the thing. That would be a cool story. Not eligible for the playoffs. Still not running the correct banner, despite his name being on it. But uh, I guess I guess he can get away with it. <laughs> when you're funding the series. That's exactly it. When, you're, your power when you're funding the series, you can say whatever the heck you Well, you can't say whatever you want, but uh, I guess you can run whatever banner you want. If you don't want to put your own name out there, then I guess that's up to you. Shout out Michael Goodman here, currently running in position number 14. Again, tonight's June Bug 175 in honor of uh, his puppy that was recently lost unfortunately passed away after just four years of age so really young for that puppy as you see goody and june bug on your screen there for just a moment shout out to goody let's see if goody can get up there and win it for old june bug here tonight what do you say yeah let's get goody and mark one two how cool would that be? Be, cool. be a top three of michael goodman mark robilis and just for the heck of it Jaden Racimus rounding out the podium. That would be such an underdog podium, and I would be quite okay with it. Honestly, I would. As right Luke is leading the race on the high pack. side, Tyler Fody. Our lead pack is only. 16, lead pack goes back cars. to. Kynan Jones and Gerald Campbell. So 17 cars in the lead pack. And this is the gap back to Hunter Smith in 18th. That, that's a big gap. That is a very big gap. It's not a scientific number. It's just open your eyes and see. Look how big that is. That's big. Okay. <laughs> that's big. Yeah, now a lot of those other guys are wrecked and are really running. 19 to pace. go, Chris. 19 remain. 19 to go and I think that caution made it where they could make it on fuel without any kind of issue so we're racing to the end unless these boys decide to wreck a bunch of cars again we'll keep our eyes peeled Norman out front too. we'll keep our eyes peeled and see how this one progresses Lake Norman does continue to lead but Chris we're catching some lap traffic here this could come into play relatively quickly as we jump high above here. Watching Scott Crump and Tyler Fody. A couple of lap cars down on the apron there. I believe that was Andrew McCall that we just went by. Scott Crump now getting pushed there by Chase Cabry. 
out front another lap car not too far ahead actually two of them right there as they drop down to the apron we're gonna go on by that is gavin higgins and brenton d jones as they work their way around on the apron right there here comes cabri and pop to the inside of scott crump gets a little bit bent out of shape off of a push there by the 39 of chase cabri yeah, now that was that was the easy lap cars to pass. They are catching this group in front of them about three seconds a lap. So they are about three to five laps away from catching a group of cars. That includes Nick this Massey, group. Cole Cabre, Chad Frankenfield. Oh. They're not going to pull out of the way. Chris, you, you just mentioned a couple drivers that are really hard to pass no matter what in chad frankenfield nick massey dave carpenter the likes of those drivers andrew hardcastle and of course cole cabry as well andrew hardcastle has a super speedway victory in the elite racing league uh, unfortunately did get caught up in a wreck here tonight but he was the winner of the pit pass network arca series race at talladega just a couple weeks ago ahead of trey holmes and justin wadsworth and I'm going to tell you what, that group is running double file. That group yeah. of lap. This is going to be real interesting. We're going to catch them relatively quickly. You see the gap there. It's uh, about two corners or so. So we'll uh, we'll be catching them very, very shortly. As Chase Cabry continues to lead the inside lane, here comes a great push by Lake Norman up top with Tyler Fody pushing Josh Robin, pushing Scott Crump, pushing Scott Crump out of the way. Can't count out the likes, though, of Jess Story and now Johnny Thomas as there's been a great resurgence out of the number 91 belly up sports Chevrolet of Jonathan Thomas up top. Oh, man, we're about a lap and a half away, I think, from real craziness taking on. They're working their way through one and two now as the leaders enter turn number one. I want to jump on the nose cam here of Scott Crump and just see if you can vis uh, visually see that lap traffic group. I believe you can entering turn three up there. Uh, yes, there they are. So they are not too far ahead. Chris, next lap, we're going to be up there with that secondary pack and chaos may ensue as we're coming to 14 to go it's chase cabry tyler pop and mark j rabilis in position number three this is going to be wild we're going to have to go high above once again because i think we're about to see potentially some madness right here christopher yeah and that group is actually catching the slower car of jeff green so they're going to have to navigate Jeff Green while the field is trying to navigate them. The first one about to get swallowed up here will be David Carpenter. Oh, man. We might even catch them in the middle of turn three and four. I really think we might here, Chris. Uh, I think we might get lucky and get the front straight away, which would be much better for these drivers but still going to be sketchy as that's about six or seven cars that we're going to catch here jeff green about to get passed by nick massey so are we going to be two wide with the lap car maybe even three because chat exists so you never know when three wide going to come into play oh man hold your breath here folks oh man carpenter and hardcastle go high we're going to split them oh man oh chase just got screwed by his own brother this is oh, wild, Chris. Man. This is absolute madness. The only drivers to break three, uh, break free are Lake Norman. Is Chad Frankenfield going to trap Chase Cabry on the inside? Oh, <laughs> this is wow. This is wild. Yep. Cabri breaks free. Here comes Thomas with him. Tyler Bow, oh, Nick Massey gets a little bit slideways. Here comes tyler pop to the rear end of jeff green can they work with these lap cars and see if they can get up there i think they have to at this point because drivers such as frankenfield and 
Hardcastle have trapped a bunch of these guys in that pack. So now they're stuck behind the likes of Nick Massey and Jeff Green. Mark Robilis got absolutely screwed here. Went from the top three all the way back to ninth with just 12 to go. Coming to 11 this time. Up top, it's Josh Robin. Was up top with help from Chase Cabry. Now jumps down in front of Scott Crump and Tyler Fody. Fody going to be side by side with Cabry. That's Johnny Thomas right there. Jeff Ryan up in the field as well. Working his way back. Him and Tommy. Slow and steady. Turtis. Uh, Turtis. Tortoise and hare trying to come back up to the front, Chris Wright. Yeah, that got not, real not a turtoise. Real quick not a turtoise. Another car. That's Andrew McCall once again. I'm gonna go five down. I do believe. This is going to be Robin side by side with Crump. Crump going to slide up. He's got to be careful about that, Chris. That could easily lead to a bump gone wrong and potentially send Scott Crump sideways into his teammates. Josh Robin and Tyler Fody. There goes Jeff Ryan. Ryan involved. Sounds like Chad might, to be, uh, might be the one to blame on this one, as I've heard some comments towards Chadwick right there. Let's take a look. Jeff Ryan involved in this. I don't think Chad was involved in this whatsoever. So a little bit of a checkup out front. Jeff Ryan gets hooked by Tommy Ryan down into Jeff Green. A couple others going to get involved. Robilus does a oh, poor Jaden Racimus, man. He's going to get involved. We're going to see Ethan Stanley involved. Oh, goody. Michael Goodman almost made it through, ends up getting clobbered by Jess Story up into the wall. But I'm going to take back the comment that I thought Chad was involved, Chris, because he absolutely had nothing to do with this. He was way far back of the incident, absolutely nowhere near it. So uh, apologies to you, Chadwick, as we take a look at Michael Goodman. Man, he just had nowhere to go. Oh, it just gets unsettled. When he clips the apron, then Jess Story, nowhere to go. Jaden Racimus. I feel so sorry for Jaden Racimus and Jess Story right there. Both of those drivers were up front in good positions, potentially going to be up there to compete. And now they're going to find themselves on pit road, getting their cars repaired. As I believe pit road will open this time. We'll see who comes down. I'd expect mainly the guys towards the back or those that have been involved in incidents. Jay Connor, Jess Story, Conan Jones, Jaden Racimus, then it's Hardcastle, Stanley Frankenfield, Jeff Ryan, Cole Cabry, and Andrew McCall. Gonna take the McCall down to pit road here, Chris Wright, as we'll step away for the final time during the regulation portion of today's race. Caution number three of the June Bug 175 here at the Daytona International speedway don't go anywhere we'll be right back racing isn't easy but experiencing it is iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. Racing, music, camping, it all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year.
We are back here. It's the June Bug 175. Once again, in honor of Michael Goodman's puppy that unfortunately passed away this weekend at the young age of just four years old. So really unfortunate. Our condolences once again to Michael and his family for the loss of June Bug. Unfortunately, Goody uh, did not make it to the end of this race tonight. We were silently cheering him on as best as we possibly can without being too biased up here in the racing booth is but but as we get set to go green once again it's josh robbins scott crump tyler Fody, chase cabery johnny thomas the top five then tommy ryan uh rory collins tyler pop mark robilis and gerald campbell rounding out the top 10 as barney the Flagman has the green flag in hand. Fred, the pace car driver, works his way to pit lane. We're going to go green with just seven laps to go. And green flag we are. Let's get back in our way here, Chris Wright. It's Josh Robbins. Scott Crump out front. Robin on the inside. Scott Crump up top with help from Chase Cabry. On the inside, the pusher is Tyler Fody with Johnny Thomas just behind. And I got to give a shout out. No matter how this goes to two drivers right now, I didn't even notice the other one up here. But Mark Robilis in the 99 and to his outside, that's Rory Collins in the 62. Both of these drivers have had really exceptional nights here tonight. Shout out to Michael Hostig and Joe Campbell as well. Just behind them here. Some great nights by these drivers and a great recovery by Seth Rawls and Conan Jones. So a lot of these drivers that have faced adversity here tonight, Chris Wright, are having themselves a great rebound later. As we're coming to just six laps to go. It continues to be Lake Norman out front. Yeah, Lake Norman has controlled this race ever since that big wreck and that six to go. They've still got three bullets in the chamber up here. They've lost Ethan Stanley because of some connection issues and he got caught up in one of those wrecks. They lost Nick Massey because of one of those wrecks. But uh, they'll still be sitting here with three bullets in the gun. I think you're pretty happy with that at five to go. As we've officially been demonetized with Chris Wright saying the G word. Good job, Christopher. The G word? You can't say that word on YouTube. We got some fun sticks in the... What's that sugar dip? Fun dip. We got some fun sticks in our fun dip still. That's that's what we got to say. As Josh Robin and Scott Grubb lead the way. Tyler Fody, Chase Cabry, Johnny Thomas remain inside the top five. Tyler Pop popping his way back into the picture as well after I thought he was a goner a little bit earlier on in some of those racing incidents. Mark Robilis on the inside. Again, RobilisPhoto.com for all your photography needs. And as you see on Scott Krupp's car, Blue Egg Marketing, the marketing department for small businesses, small business owners. Blue Egg is your biggest fan, and they're a big fan of victories as well. And speaking of big fans, Gerald Campbell trying to blow his all the way up to the front as he looks to the high side of of Seth Rawls opts to get back in line there the third lane not quite forming as of yet Jeff Green gonna try to go with Gerald Campbell we'll keep an eye on the progress Rory Collins comes up into Gerald oh no heartbreaker for Campbell this is not what he wanted here and he can't even get the 62 to spin out oh well Chris I'm gonna do your job right here tally 62 because <laughs> he cleared himself easily ahead of Gerald Campbell right there. We'll take a look from high above though and see what just happened to Rory Collins and Gerald Campbell. Gerald up on the high side. Rory comes up across his nose. There might have been net code though. Oh, let's take a look again at this one. The double zero is Campbell. The 62 is Rory Collins. Yeah, 62 just comes across the double zero of Gerald Campbell. And Campbell just stays on the gas here, Chris, trying to get that 62 off of his nose or to at least spin him around. Wasn't able to quite do it uh, for a little bit of time there. But looking up at the front of the field, it's Josh Robbins, Scott Crump, Tyler Fody, Chase Gabriel, and Johnny Thomas, the top five here, as we will head into uh, Elite Racing League overtime. Brought to you by Mark Robilis and RobilisPhoto.com. Johnny Thomas in sixth, Mark Robilis in seventh. 
Tyler Pop, Michael Hasek, and Jess Story going to round up the top 10. The rest of the cars currently running on the lead lap. Seth Rawls in 11th. Connor Thompson, a great run for him up to 12th here tonight. Hunter Smith in 13th. Jay Connor, 14th. Zero Campbell in 15th. Conan Jones, 16th. Dave Carpenter, 17th. Rory Collins there in position number 8. Jaden Racimus will round out the lead lap cars in position number 19, but his front end not looking too good at this point as we work the caution. Chris going to do a little bit of work on the racing control side of things, but let's take another gander at the points entering tonight. Again, Tyler Fody locked in. Ethan Stanley locked in. Ethan Burrell was one of those drivers locked in as well. Matthew Weeks, David Tooker also locked in as well as Chase Cabery and Scott Krupp. Nick Massey, Tyler Popchat, Frankenfield, Seth Rawls, Gerald Campbell, Josh Robin, and Tate Lytle were alive in those points, but uh, had some work to do to try to lock in. Unfortunately, Lytle not here tonight. Robin leading the race right now. Gerald Campbell just involved in the latest incident. Seth Rawls just outside the top 10. Chad Frankenfield has had his fair share of issues here tonight. Uh, might still be able to fall out of the points. I think it'll be too hard for him to do so. Tyler Pop having a good night here tonight. And those drivers that were outside looking in tonight, Jesse Racimus, uh, he's out of the race, so I don't see him advancing. The one driver that may actually pop into the playoffs here, Chris, from the outside of the playoff picture tonight could be Michael Hasek. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that. We'll try to get an update as soon as we possibly can. But I believe as of right now, Michael Hasek would be the last driver in to the playoffs on points. Yeah, and we'll have to see. We'll give you that information, like you said there, Robert, as quick as we can. And it might, there's no guarantees it'll be done in time for the end of this. So you might have to watch social medias later tonight or tomorrow or however else you take in your elite content because we are racing like you mentioned most days of the week there's an elite race got the simply racing podcast on there i believe thursdays right uh usually thursdays sometimes gerald likes to switch it up on us and put it on a friday like he did this past week but i, I believe typically thursday nights for the simply racing podcast on the belly up sports youtube channel so you will find all that later this week if it's not ready when we go off the air. One thing we do know, though, is Tate Lytle will not be a part of these playoffs. By that, missing tonight being the last guy in. That is a fact, and an unfortunate one, honestly, that Tate has not shown up for tonight's race. Would have easily made the... Well, not easily made the playoffs, but would have been in a decent position to make them. But like I said, Michael Hasek right now, in the position to potentially work his way into the playoffs. I believe a couple more drivers have just been parked for the day in Michael Goodman and Jeff Ryan. So 27 cars still eligible to return to the playing field as we get set for the first of our green white checkered attempts. And Chris Wright, of course, we do have up to three of those attempts here tonight. We'll use three, I'm sure. I don't know. Maybe I, not. I hope not. I don't think so. They've raced fairly clean so far, but of course, you never know. It is the final race of the regular season. There are drivers that if they win, they're going to lock in. So you might see a little bit of... I'm just going to say it, You might see some stupidity out of some of these drivers to try to work their way up to the front. We've been in those positions, Chris Wright. You know that you're going to do whatever you possibly can to try to put yourself in a position to get up there and get that victory if that's what you absolutely have to do to work your way into the playoffs. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of, uh, some guys are feeling some pressure. Some guys feel like they might have to win. I don't exactly have that information in front of me to know where Josh Robin is in the points. Again, Josh Robin was 13th entering tonight. So he's one of those drivers that does need a good points night. He cannot afford to wreck out of that. Actually, he can. He does have a win to fall back on, Chris. That's one thing for Josh Robin. He did win the season opener at Daytona earlier this year. So he does have a win to fall back on. Not locked in technically as he's still, I believe, fairly tight 
to the points but uh, we'll see how this one goes as we get set for the green flag once again. Fred, the base car driver, down pit lane. Barty, the flag man, green flag in hand. And the green flag do be waving here as Josh Robin and Scott Crump going to lead us back to green once again. It's Tyler Fody and Chase Cabry just behind them as the pushers. Watch for Johnny Thomas. Watch for Tommy Ryan to potentially try to make a move if they possibly can. But I'm looking more... At the driver, such as Tyler Pop, Jess Story, maybe the Michael Hasek to make. Oh no! Scott Crump gets turned off the nose of Chase Cabry. He's going to fall all the Wait, way to Rob the infield. Josh Robin, Scott Crump, both involved in that one. We're going to stay under green flag condition. Oh no! Michael Hasek involved as well. He's going to go for a slide. Wow. So there goes Michael Hasek's playoffs right there. Right there. That's so unfortunate. Well, the race is on for the lead here. We just we quickly have light. to see what happened to Hasek and then we'll jump back. I believe he might get hooked here by Tyler Fody. Yes, he does. So Fody, knowing that Josh Robbins in a playoff spot, maybe potentially being a little bit extra aggressive with Michael Hasek. Here comes Pop. Here comes Robilus. Let's go. Mark Robilus, Jess Story coming up. Oh, there. Never mind. Bye, Mark. As Chase Cabry, Seth Rawls, and Connor Thompson to the top here three. The 39. Here we go. Tops into the bottom, rolls up top, contact. Who's going to get there? It's Chase Cabry leading the way ahead of Seth Rawls and Connor Thompson here. Your winner once again is going to be Chase Cabry ahead of Seth Rawls and Connor Thompson rounds out the podium. Tyler Pop, Hunter Smith going to round out the top five with Dave Carpenter, Gerald Campbell, Rory Collins, Jaden Racimus, and Tyler Fody rounding out the top 10. Michael Hasek did come back to 12th, so may potentially be close enough, but we're going to have to keep an eye on him. I don't think he's too pleased right now. Might be looking for the driver of the number 40, but once again, it's Chase Cabry, your winner here tonight. Now he's going to go on by, so no issues there. Is Cabry going to come around and celebrate once again? Chris Wright, fireworks down the back straight away. I thought we were about to get a first-time winner potentially there in Connor Thompson as he was very, very close to getting there, Chris Wright, right at the end of it. But Chase Caber going to work his way around. We're going to work our way to our final commercial break of the night as we work to gather those podium finishers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It is the June Bug 175, and it is Chase Cabry about to burn it down. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series in officially licensed cars engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. Racing, music, camping, it all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year.
and we are back here. It's the June Bug 175. We're going to take a quick look at the post race results as Chris Wright just finalizes a little bit of race control work here. And it was a busy one for Chris tonight. He definitely earned his pay, the big paycheck that comes for race control. As Chase Cabry is your victor once again ahead of Seth Rawls and Connor Thompson picking up his first podium finish here tonight in the Robotics Photography Grand National Series. Tyler Pop and Hunter Smith round up the top five. Dave Carpenter, Gerald Campbell, Rory Collins, Jaden Racimus, and Tyler Foti round out the top ten. As you see, Jess Story just outside in 11th. Michael Hasek, 12th. Jay Connor up to 13th. Ethan Stanley, 14th. Mark Robilis in the 15th spot here tonight with Tommy Ryan, Johnny Thomas, Kynan Jones there in the 18th spot as we work our way down the order. Well, if the order wants to work for us and it doesn't look like it wants to. So Jeff Green and Nick Massey there round up the top 20. Gavin Higgins, Andrew Hardcastle, Chad Frankfield, Tommy Ryan, Josh Robbins, Scott Crump, Andrew McCall, Brent Jones, Michael Goodman, Jeff Ryan, and Cole Cabry round up the top 30 with David Tooker, Josh Adams, Kyle Hanshaw, Matthew Weeks, Dustin Dewar, Ethan Burrell, Vincent Isabella, Jesse Racimus, Alate Norgard, and Ty McIntosh rounding out the 40 car field here tonight as we go ahead and bring in our third place driver connor thompson gonna be standing by with chris wright yeah i am joined by connor thompson here connor take me through your night and how you managed to avoid all the chaos and end up with a, a shot there coming through three and four to win the race hey you guys talking to me yeah, yeah, Connor, the floor is yours. How did you manage to avoid all the uh, calamity out there tonight and have a shot to win that thing there at the end? Oh, I don't know, man. I uh, I think I was about 10 through 12th on the back stretch, coming to three and four, and then everybody started wrecking. So just kind of played out. One of those things got lucky there. And could you have done any more coming through three and four there, Connor, to, to try to win the race? Uh, I was going to try to uh, – I was hoping Chase would keep going up, blocking Seth at Pa, and uh, I just didn't have enough momentum. I kind of stalled out a little bit, but I was hoping to get um, get to his quarter panel there, there, but it just didn't work out. But uh, you know, it's been a rough year. I I think y'all have tallied me every week, so it's kind of good to have one good race for me. Yeah, and real quick before we let you jump out of here and celebrate your podium and get ready to start these playoffs coming up next week, uh, any shout outs you want to give? Sponsors you want to thank? Uh, just my wife. She lets me play my game every couple of days. Well, all right. Congrats on the run, Connor, and hopefully we'll get to talk to you again here in the future. Thank you, guys. That was indeed Connor Thompson, the third place finisher here tonight. Now I'm joined by the Rocket Man, Seth Rawls. Seth, why don't you walk us through that race here tonight, and what more did you need to get up there and get past Chase Caber to get that victory at the end? I don't know. I, I think I needed a Hold on. My, my race is doing the thing where you close it too fast. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I think I need a little bit more of the surroundings to work for my favor. Um, 16 got a great run there and kind of stopped my crossover. If I wanted to do that, um, and then, yeah, I just couldn't really get a good run at the end. Um, it was close, I'd say, but yeah, Chase threw a good block there, and then, um, my, my other options kind of extinguished, but hung on for a second, which is pretty good. Obviously, you had to start at the tail of the field, rolling off 35th here tonight. Qualifying hasn't really been your strong suit uh, throughout the season, but you've been able to work your way up to solid finishes. This, of course, your first top five of the season. But what does that do for your momentum heading into the playoffs, which, of course, start next week? Yeah, much needed momentum. Um, a rough few weeks there for me. Qualifying, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. And on super superways, I feel like I'm not too bad on the plate tracks, but or I mean the normal tracks, but these super superways are tough for me uh, in shifty sports. So we all we gotta work on that um, over the off season. Uh, but yeah, momentum huge. Um, been down the dumps recently, just trying to get these finishes. Just get wreck myself, get involved in wrecks, um, get taken out. Um, just haven't been the finishes I wanted, but 
sticking through it. Um, P2 is huge going to the playoffs. Um, obviously, I'm kind of disadvantaged in the playoff points, which suck. Um, but anything can happen. I told myself that all season, just like that last lap. Um, you know, anything can happen there. So, give it a good run here. I'm not even sure what the opener is. I think it's Watkins Glen, maybe. Um, Watkins Glen, yes, or, that's correct. Yeah. So, uh, road course race, which I really do enjoy those. Um, I noticed my pedals were freaking out a little bit tonight, so I'm gonna check on that. Um, go back to the uh, hypothetical shop and work on those a little bit to make sure they're not doing that for the race um, next weekend. Um, but yeah, huge momentum. Momentum swing for sure. Well, Seth, congratulations on the runner-up finish here tonight. Before we let you go, any shout-outs you want to give, sponsors you want to thank for putting that uh, number 25 machine up there on the podium tonight? For sure, yeah. Um, Taylor Digital Solutions, um, actually a company I work for. My boss was kind enough to sponsor me for the whole season, um, including next season as well. So having that kind of support from your your uh, your work boss is um, amazing, honestly. Um, I love to tell all my friends that I'm um, you know, sponsored by my boss, um, and she really cares about esports and and what I do on the side, my little passion projects in shift esports and this uh, i racing whole thing. Um, but yeah, she's been awesome. Um, bummer, bummer to get the the City Connect uh, Boston Marathon car victory lane. That would have been an awesome story. Um, obviously, it's Marathon Monday, um, Patriots Day here in Massachusetts. So um, love love my city, Boston. Um, obviously, uh, those we lost uh, 11 years ago, always in our minds. Um, but yeah, the, and then you know, Shifty Sports, they were helping me out in the call tonight. Um, I know Ty had a rough one, and then Gavin overslept a little goofball. Um, but <laughs> the little all, goofball. All, all good race. <laughs> uh, yeah, all in all, a good race. Um, being a paint scheme, hit me up, Seth Rawls Design, uh, dot com or on Twitter. Um, but yeah, overall, and you guys for putting the broadcast on. I love watching it last week, so I'm going to have to watch it again this week. Um, maybe I'll close my eyes for the last lap and hope that I, I won in the in my head. <laughs> you can definitely <laughs> imagine it a little bit differently, Seth. Congratulations on the finish here tonight, and we'll see you next week for the playoff opener at Watkins Glen. Thank you. See you guys. That was the Rocket Man, Seth Rawls, bringing it home in second tonight. And now joining Chris Wright up here in the booth once again is a normal resident of this booth, Chase Cabry. Yeah, Chase, I'm going to have to start nicknaming this like the Chase Cabre Power Hour or something here, you know, our little weekly podcast. I get to talk to you every week. So once again tonight, how did you manage to avoid the chaos and uh, give yourself a shot to win and, and make all the right moves? Because we had a couple pretty big wrecks out there tonight. Yeah, first and foremost, I want to apologize to Scott, uh, Scott Crump and the whole Lake Norman Motorsports group, uh, Fody, um and Josh. I... I don't know how it happened. Um, I came off to fully committed to pushing Scott with two to go. And, you know, we're just coming up to speed. And I feel like if I lift off of him um, and lift off of two, then, you know, we lose the outside run. And, you know, in his mirror, he's probably hoping, come on, push, push. You know, he's kind of helpless right there. So I'm I'm trying as hard as I could. And I, I may, I don't know how it happened. Like, I was kind of squirrely behind him. And it must have just hooked him just right. Because... Like, I, I didn't have any intentions of doing it, and um, so I wanted to apologize first and foremost to that. But, um, yeah, I mean, and then once I got to the lead, it's, you know, it's I was just trying to keep them behind me, and uh, the 13 was trying to back up to get a run, so I, I was on the brake trying to back up to him to not let him get that run, and uh, then just trying to block the, um, just trying to block the runs on the last lap. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I just... It's not the way I want to win them. Um, Daytona always turns into these crazy finishes. and uh, But like I said, I, I don't like to win that way, and I, f I feel really bad for it. Yeah, that's just part of it sometimes. And uh, what's the outlook here as we get ready to start the playoffs next week? Uh, what do you think you got to improve on? Or do you have anywhere to improve? You just got to go out and do what you know you can do? Oh, uh, well, yeah, we'll watch David Tooker drive off into the sunset next week at Watkins Glen. Um, he's in alien when it comes down to those road courses in a stock car so um yeah he'll be really good tomorrow or, or not tomorrow next week and i uh, just try to get through Watkins Glen with some decent points iowa should be okay for us um and then we go to another restrictor plate talladega so um yeah i just gotta keep my uh keep plugging in the right directions not create enemies like i did tonight uh 
you know, it sucks. I, that's not the way you want to do it, like I said. But, um, yeah, we'll just keep on going on to the um, into the playoffs and see how it goes. All right, Chase, before we let you jump out of here and celebrate another victory, are there any sponsors, shout-outs you want to give tonight? Yeah, just Speed Factor Group, uh, you know, my brother and I, and uh, we were missing Alex tonight. Uh, God for allowing us to even get on here and play eye racing. Um, even, you know, just have fun and, and for the life he gives us and uh, all the guys that put on these races each and every week. All right, that's Chase Cabre. Another win, getting ready to start the playoffs, and we look forward to seeing and hearing from you again in the future, Chase. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Well, Chris, that's going to do it for our post-race interviews here tonight. What a great race it was all around up until the finish where things got a little bit chaotic. But uh, final thoughts from you as we head off here from Daytona. Yeah, it's been a great regular season. I feel like we've had a lot more good races than bad races this season overall. I know it kind of turned into crazy right here, but that's typical for some plate racing and some plate tracks here moving forward. So we'll see what happens here in the playoffs. I can't wait to see what happens. And uh, one final thought for me tonight, I want to give condolences to to Michael Goodman and, and his family over the loss of their dog this week. I didn't know that pre-race when I talked to Goody, so... That's uh, very unfortunate. I can't say that to him personally tonight, but I will be making sure to talk to him later this week. And uh, it's very unfortunate over there, but hopefully Goody can get some of these playoff races and, and go out here and win the most races here in the playoffs. That would definitely be cool to see Goody get out there and grab himself a W or two at the conclusion of the season. But uh, just taking a look, Chris, this is the tentative playoff field. Tyler Fody, Ethan Stanley, Chase Cabry, Ethan Burrell, Scott Crump, Tyler Pop, David Tooker, Matthew Weeks, Nick Massey, Seth Rawls, Gerald Campbell, Chad Frankenfield, and the final two playoff spots, again, tentatively here, going to Josh Robin and Michael Hasek. So Hasek looks like he got it by about 13 points over Tate Lytle. So he has locked himself into the playoffs. So congratulations to our playoff field. Looking forward to seeing what they do next week when we go from the high banks of Daytona to the Finger Lakes and the Watkins Glen International Raceway. Looking forward to that one, Chris. But on behalf of Chris Wright and all of us here at the Elite Racing Network, my name is Robert Hill Jr. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow night for PitPassNetwork.com Arca Series action from the Worldwide Technology Raceway. We're going to go championship racing at Gateway. We'll see you there.